Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Good Joy Tips. And in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Immortals of Avium is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen. How we can fix all these kind of issues. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this particular issue, you can try these steps. The first one is all about we have to go over here in the, uh, we have to do a restart. So just do a normal restart. For this, just go over here in the start, click over here, go to this particular power icon, go for a simple restart. Once restart is done, try launching the game and that will be working. So you can start with a simple restart. So once you're done with a simple restart, if this issue is still there, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Most probably, by generally, we all launch the game from the Steam. So when you launch the game from the Steam, what happens is this might even cause the issue up. So what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on over here on the browse. So what happens is when you click on this one, you can see this is the folder that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, immortals of Avi. Now if you launch this, you can go to this particular folder and you can launch the game. So for many of the users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, it worked for them. So you can try it as it is, it might work for you. So you can try this. Next one is all about nothing but, hence we are in the installation folder, I'm going to show you two more steps which can be done. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to select the immortal of Avium over here. Right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to compatibility. Now from here we have to click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok. So run this on the administrator and it might work. So it did work it for many users in the past. So you can try this. Even after trying with this, if it's still it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about. We need to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game in the compatibility mode, we have to go over here, select this one, right click and go to show more option. Go to properties, go to the compatibility. Now just click on the compatibility mode, select this one, run this program in compatibility mode. Go over here on Windows 7. Go for apply and go for ok and once you set this up we just need to close this and we need to close this as well we have to go back and try launching the game. If that is still it's not working we are having a lot of issue. The next one is all about we need to make sure the time, date and region is correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, go over here in the search and go to the settings. Now from here we have to go to the time and language, go to the date and time over here and make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. This should be turned on and this should be turned on. Make sure it is very important. Go back, go to the language and region. Now from here, as you can see, we have to make sure the region should be correct. So you have to select the region according to your geography and you have to select this up. Once you close this, we have to go back and try launching the game. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there and it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to launch the game using Alt and Tab which is very important. I don't know how, but it worked for many users. So just click on the play button, but keep in mind when you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Windows and Alt. Sorry, we have to press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard. Press Alt and Tab and click on the hit button over here in the play button and that will be working. It worked for many users in my knowledge, so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to just, we just need to try with the next one, which is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to documents over here. Like as you can see, we'll be having the folder on the game Immortals. Now, if you find the folder on the Immortals, you have to delete it and you have to keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, we just need to go over here and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we can allow the game to Windows security. For this, we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings over here and we have to go over here in order to not settings let me sorry just go over here search for control panel we have to search for control panel just select this one go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and keep on navigate to i so immortals of avium is already added this is what you have to do 
and also as you can see we have to make sure the private and public should be marked so this has to be marked and this has to be marked as well now from here we have to go over here imagine the game is not added here and how we can fix this so if the game is not added what we need to do is we just need to click on the change settings we have to go for allow another app we have to go for browse we have to go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam over here go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to immortals of avium select this one and go for this one and select this one and open it and we have to go for add so right now i'm getting the error because the game is already added so once you add the game just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so as you can see sometimes this even causes issue up so what we need to do is we just need to remove everything if that is the issue just remove everything for example uh, the joystick controllers uh, logitech wheels whatever it is connected to the over here in the usb unplug every usb and once afterwards you launch the game once the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try continuing play the game and it worked for many users i found this from the reddit so that's why i'm sharing it, it with you guys you can try this definitely that's going to help you guys out as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for so just go over here in the search and we have to search for system configuration just search for system configuration click over here and we have to go to the services and we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay the users who are watching this you have to go for restart hence we are in the middle of shooting i'm going to go for exit without restart once the restart is done just go back to the game and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, do like this that is we need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here as you can see you have to make sure enable the steam overlay while in game it's actually enabled so if it is enabled you have to disable this once you disable this we just need to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not still the issue is not working we can go over here the next step that given the commands in the launch option so we are having the launch option so we can give the command first command that is dx11 is the first command give dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working go back and try launch the game with dx12 so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be working fine and once after done with this you just need to launch the game and that will be helping guys out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue for this we just need to go over here click on the right click over here in the start and go to the task manager right now as you can see there are a lot of apps running in the background so there are 40 apps running in the background so all these things are actually while you are launching the game these apps also running in the background which is causing the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to find unwanted things from here for example discord reward tuner msi afterburner all these comes out of this category and you have to remove it and you have to end it up that is what you have to do and once you end the task over here which is utilizing your performance you have to remove it afterwards just go back and try launch the game it worked at some users for many it didn't work so if that is the case just move to the next step next step we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go over here search for graphic settings search for graphic settings like this and now from here you have to click on this one and as you can see i have already added all the games that is uh, the chain so is added all the fifa 23 every game is added we have to add the same click on the browse over here and we have to go to this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go for steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to uh, over here we have to go to immortal over here where it let me find it immortal of avium x select x64 go to this one select this one and go for add so right now it is added and if you go to the option you have to change this from let windows decide to high performance and once you set this to high performance you have to go for save and once you save this you just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for increasing the virtual memory we have to go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system setting just go over here in the advanced system setting go to the advanced go to settings advance it once again go for change make sure this is unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so just go over here and search for calculator now from here we have to go back 
now we need to type the ram so right the ram of a computer is 32 gb just type your ram 32 gb into 1024 that is 32768 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 49152 so just paste it next one is all about we have to go over here the maximum size the maximum size is multiply 32 gb multiplied with 1024 now we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 3 not 4 so just copy this and we have to paste it so once you set this value just close everything over here and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about we need to do is we just need to update the windows so it's very important to just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the windows update at the bottom left now from here make sure that you are up to date once you make sure you are up to date we have to try launch the game or if any updates are there just update the game even after trying with this issues there we can try two main steps and one among them is we need to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go to the installed files over here just click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a lot of time so let me click on this and we have to wait because this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed and you have to wait for this and once it reaches 100 percentage i'll be showing you the next step So as you can see, there are five not files which are successfully validated. And once you close this up, we need to go back and try launch the game. So verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step and will be helping guys out for sure. Next one, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description where you can go to the both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. The NVIDIA users have to go over here in this particular link. Then you have to select everything over here, the product type, the product series can be selected. And now from here, we have to go over here and select every details from here. If you're on Windows 11, select this one and go for start search. Now from here, we have to go for start search. What happens is if you cross check, this is 536.99 is the driver version. And we have to download, which is released on August 8, 2023. So we just need to download this one, install a restart as a mandatory and try playing the game. So if you're on the AMD driver, just go to the graphics over here, select every details over here and go for a submit. 
and when you go for submit what happens you will be getting two option if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you have to download this one restart is a mandatory and try launching the game if you're in uh, you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus and we have to go over here if you're on the x64 based one we have to download this one if you're on the x86 based one you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so this is a very important step in working for many users so you can try this out the last and the least step is all about we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back so uninstalling is not what important but reinstalling into a different drive is very important that is just go over here for uninstalling go to this manage and install the game for reinstalling it back we have to go over here and as you can see this is local to see which from which i installed sorry i uninstalled the game so if you're reinstalling it back on same local disk it's not gonna work so you can't you have to try from c to d or d to e to any a new local disk it did work it for me uh, for many games including the back 4 blood for gta 5 online and even for overwatch 2 uh, phasmophobia it worked for many of the games which i very recently play and which i am very fan of it so you can try this and these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with immortals of avium is having this issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye